Just moments ago, the San Diego City Council passed next year's multi-billion dollar budget, and it has come with some controversy, including whether to fund the city's largest homeless shelter. Our Zara Barker has been inside that meeting throughout the day, and she joins us live from City Hall with how that vote just played out. Zara. Kathleen, in just the last two and a half minutes, city officials here inside City Hall have unanimously passed that $5.8 billion budget with a vote of 9 to 0. As you said, it has been pretty controversial, and city officials have said this is a very difficult budget year that they've had to go through over the last several weeks to months trying to balance this budget. But all that aside, the budget is balanced, and now this has officially been passed. On the table in front of San Diego City Council members is the city's $5.8 billion budget. There are no easy choices in this difficult budget year. And I know that these modifications reflect the majority of the priorities expressed by the public and my colleagues. But after an independent budget review, Council Member Kent Lee says there's more money to work with than what they had planned for. Outlined in our final budget proposal are changes intended to help preserve as well as supplement programs that are proven to work, programs that hundreds of thousands are relying on at this very moment, programs that help to support shelter, and programs that people would immediately feel the impacts from if funding were to be reduced or stopped. The mayor and city council members have been aligned in prioritizing funding for public safety, flood prevention, and the homeless. In the budget is $26 million toward the homeless crisis with a controversial plan to turn this empty building in Little Italy into a 1,000-bed homeless shelter and to turn the former H. Barracks site near Liberty Station into 200 safe sleeping parking sites, which is allotted for $2.5 million in the budget. When asked if Lee supports the budget, Budgeted money for the Little Italy shelter. Here's what he said. The money that is available for new shelter identification for the possibility of tenant improvements for new shelter, that, that remains. Uh, you know, I think as a council, um, we agree with the mayor that there is a need for new shelter within the city. And we are inside city council chambers right now as they are on a brief recess before they go back to business. But joining me now live is council member Kent Lee. And Mr. Lee, this just passed moments ago. What's your take on this budget? Well, as chair of the budget committee, I think we are very excited that we have a unanimous approval of the final budget action today that really aligns a lot of the council's priorities with our mayor's priorities, especially in looking to address homelessness, the need for shelter, uh, many of the community equity programs that we wanted to see uh, not just restored but uplifted, uh, and then also ensuring that there were some dollars available to help support some of the storm victims that were impacted from the January 22nd storms. And so it is a challenging fiscal year, no question. We're grateful for all of our colleagues and the public for their feedback and ultimately to be able to to uh, make some budget actions that uh, benefit, I think, the public in a significant way uh, without any negative impacts. And we look forward to making sure that this is implemented as we move forward. All right, Councilmember Kent Lee, thank you so much for your time. I'll let you get back to work. I know they're going to get back into the city council meeting here in just a couple of moments. We actually have another crew that is in council chambers right now. So we're going to have much more on this now $5.8 billion budget that was just passed unanimously with a 9 to 0 vote. We'll have more on that coming up in the later newscast this evening on Fox 5, so be sure to stick with us for that. But that's very latest live inside City Council Chamber, Zara Barker, Fox 5 News. That's right. Much more analysis to come, and thank you for breaking down what is in that budget, and we'll, of course, uh, continue to go line by line and let you know in later editions of Fox 5 News.